Hello, my name is Eunice Tolu Olatunji, and today I'll be talking to us about proof of ownership. What would you have to prove to show that you are entitled to either customary right of occupancy or statutory right of occupancy? Over the years, our courts have identified five ways of proving ownership to land, and they are traditional evidence, production of document of title, act of the person selling for example leasing out the property or the land farming on the land but that act must be positive enough and numerous for people to infer or conclude that that land actually belongs to the seller also act of long possession the law presumes that the person who occupies the land is actually the owner but this Proof can only be used as a defense when somebody else comes at you that, oh, you are not the owner of this land that you are in possession of. You cannot go to court for a declaration of title that I want the court to declare me the owner of this land because I've been on the land for a long time. And lastly, proof of possession of connected land. For instance, if you are the owner of land A and land A and B are connected or adjacent to each other, the law can infer that for you to be the owner of land A, you are also the owner of land B. So in my next video, we will examine these ways one after the other. If you are relying on traditional evidence, what do you have to prove? If it's documentary evidence, what do you have to prove? And so on and so forth. So please don't forget to like the video comment so that we can know whether we are meeting your needs or not. Please like the video and share the video. Subscribe to all my social media platforms so that you can be notified anytime I post another video. See you another time and bye.